Welcome to Star Citizen and the guide to version 2 of the browser add-on CCU game. With the update to version 2 recently appeared the core feature of the free browser add-on CCU game from the German developer Rishwa, which is available for all major browsers. And this is the automatic calculation of upgrade chains for the Pledge Store, with optional inclusion of your complete buyback, currently available offers in the Pledge Store, as well as the possibility to display currently unavailable upgrades in order to be able to conclude an upgrade chain with a maximum saving at the next sale. And as already shown in the first XXL guide to the add-on here in the channel, you also have the possibility to display your entire hangar, including all upgrades, ship loaner, game packages, your entire buyback, as well as any other items and export them. In addition, we get here for all areas extensive sorting and search functions, as well as a direct link to the respective areas in the Pledge Store. And one of the most important features of the add-on, no data will be collected or forwarded after you have to log in on robotspaceindustries.com as usual, so that the add-on gets access to the information from the Pledge Store, as well as your personal hangar at all. This data will only be stored locally in your hangar. Data transfer or storage concerning your account, such as your password or personal data, will not take place. After logging into robotspaceindustries.com, the add-on queries a various pages available to you in the hangar, as well as the current pledge store. Depending on your special permissions, whether you are a subscriber or a concierge member, you will receive a complete overview of the offers available to you and your personal hangar, clearly arranged and exportable in the add-on. But also your current store credit balance, the availability of your buyback tokens, as well as the current overview of your purchases can be found. In summary, the add-on offers a much clearer, searchable, filterable and more compact view of your personal robotspaceindustries.com website. So to speak, a different look of the original site. And thanks to the full text search, which is available within each section, we can quickly and effectively find items, ships, upgrades or, unlike the on the original site, search our entire buyback, filter and thus keep track of everything, especially if you have a somewhat larger hangar. Another very effective feature is also that all the offers available to us from the Pledge Store in the various categories, upgrades, game packages, as well as extras are listed, which includes everything that is available in the various categories in the Pledge Store for us personally. In addition, any price differences from the normal prices are displayed, so we can directly distinguish at a glance reduced offers and limited Warbond versions directly. Furthermore, we get the information if it is a limited, a subscriber exclusive or even concierge exclusive offer. Under the category Extras, we find the complete summary of all ships, items, paints as well as all remaining subcategories. So in summary, the complete overview of the current Pledge Store, which we have to update regularly to, as the add-on only updates data when we actively confirm or trigger it. A true game changer is to be found, however, under Info, where we find on the one hand under All Ships, all in the game existing ships and vehicles, information about them, whether these are already flyable, still in the concept phase or up to date already in production. In addition with the current version 2 of the CCU Game Add-on, we get the possibility to automatically calculate upgrade change, talking into account all our own hangar data, as well as the current Pledge Store, with some additional options. 
We can choose our own ship for the beginning of the chain or automatically the currently cheapest ship from the pledge store. Can include our own buyback, optionally exclude war bond offers as well as currently unavailable, but in the sales available upgrades also optionally include. With the specification of our target ship, with our underlying information and options, an upgrade chain is then formed, which is aimed at the maximum savings, whereby we also get clearly displayed whether it is an offer from the pledge store, our own buyback, an upgrade already available in our account, or an currently unavailable upgrade. And as we see in this example, from a Drake Dragonfly to the almost $800 Polaris, we have the opportunity to save almost half with an optimal upgrade chain. And of course, an upgrade chain created in this way can also be exported directly, since data storage in the add-on, as mentioned, does not take place. This means that we are well prepared for the next sale or for offers that we still need for our next upgrade chain. Finally, we want to mention that the development of the CCU game add-on is still going on and the developer Rishwar in the Discord, which can also be found in the add-on, is thankfully for your suggestions for improvement or any hints about problems. We will of course keep you informed about new features and updates here. I hope you liked the video, leave me a like and maybe even a subscribe here. With the CCU game version 2, we get the big core feature, the automatic calculation of upgrades, because the citizen offers here countless options and possibilities, but the overview and the necessary knowledge for this is really not easy. But as always, I'm interested in your opinions on the subject. What do you think about the add-on? Feel free to write me in the comments, in the Discord or in the almost daily Twitch live streams. And as always, the most important at the end, a big thank you to all Patreons, channel members and Twitch subscribers. Without you this would not be possible in this form and you are a huge motivation. Thank you for your support guys, you rock! And of course there will be extensive giveaways again this month. How you can participate and what to expect, you can see in the following announcement trailer. I say goodbye, until next time. See you soon and as always, see you in the verse.